Let's do an exercise. In order to compute salary of an employee, list down top 10 information you will require. Pause the tutorial and complete the exercise. I am sure you did a good job in determining the details. You will need information like name, date of birth and gender since tax computation will depend on your age and sex. You will also need the salary amount and the payday information. Also, you will need bank information. You will need address information since tax computation depends on your location. These are just a very few of the hundreds of information that you need to compute payroll or perform any other HR related activity. If all these records are stored together, it would be very difficult to trace them individually. Just like finding needles in haystack. So SAP clubs related information together into what is called an infotype. Each infotype has a corresponding number. Infotype 2, known by acronym IT0002, stores personal details. IT8 stores basic pay-related information. IT9 stores bank details. IT6 stores address. In fact there are a total 9,999 infotypes defined by SAP. You can use few, or all of them depending on your requirements. These infotypes are categorized for convenience, infotype 0 to 999, store personal administration related data like your bank details, address, and so on. Infotype 1000 to 1999, store organizational management related data like which company, department you work for or, who is your boss or which employees report to you. Infotype 2000 to 2999, store time related data like your attendances, absences, your paid leaves quota etc. Infotype 4000 to 4999, store recruitment related data. If you think the existing predefined infotype does not meet your requirements, you could create your own custom infotype and give it a number from 9000 to 9999.